Welcome back Joyful Bakers to Erica's Joyful Oven. Today I'm making a delicious pineapple upside down cake. I'll begin by adding a quarter cup of melted unsalted butter into a 9.5 inch baking pan. Evenly sprinkle a half cup of dark brown sugar over the melted butter. On top of the sugar, I'll arrange my pineapple slices and maraschino cherries. To keep the syrup the right consistency, it's important to blot out the excess liquids from the pineapples and cherries before you place them into the pan. And I will set this aside to prepare the cake batter. Into my mixing bowl, I've added 3 quarter cups of room temperature unsalted butter and 1 and a quarter cups of granulated sugar. I'll mix this together on a medium speed for about 5 minutes until it's nice and light. Next, I'll add 3 large eggs, one at a time, making sure that each addition is well incorporated into the butter and sugar. If you're using smaller eggs, you can use 4 instead of 3, and you're really aiming for about 3 quarter cups of eggs altogether. It's also very important that all of your ingredients are room temperature, and that's going to give you the perfect consistency in your cake batter. So while I'm mixing in the eggs, I'm also going to add in a quarter teaspoon of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of freshly grated nutmeg together with a half teaspoon of vanilla extract and I'll mix all of these ingredients together just until they are well combined. Into a bowl I've sifted 1 and 3 quarter cups of all-purpose flour that I'll add into two portions. Together with the first portion I'll add in 3 tablespoons of evaporated milk and to give me a really light and airy cake I'm going to fold my dry ingredients into the cake batter. Next, I'll add in the remaining all-purpose flour together with two and a quarter teaspoon of baking powder and four tablespoons of pineapple juice, or you can even use the heavy syrup from the canned pineapples. Using pineapple juice is going to give the cake a really rich pineapple flavor and it's going to keep the cake really moist. So now that all of the ingredients are well combined, I'll stop mixing and you can see that this cake batter is so light and airy it's going to make a really delicious and perfectly textured pineapple upside down cake. So now I'll pour all of that delicious cake batter on top of the pineapples and this is going to bake in a preheated oven at 350 degrees for 35 to 40 minutes until a toothpick inserted comes out clean. Once the cake is out of the oven, I'll let it cool at room temperature for 10 minutes. I'll run a tin spatula around the edges of the cake pan. And next, I'm going to flip this over and for the moment of truth, let's see. It is a perfect pineapple upside down cake. It is so moist and it smells amazing. As I slice into this cake, you can see just how soft it is. There's just the right amount of syrup that soaks into the cake to keep it moist without making it soggy. The crumb on this cake is so light and every single bite is going to be basting with pineapple flavor. And then there's that bit of nutmeg that really balances all of the flavor of this cake. It's so decadent and it's definitely one of my family's top favorites. As always, I love hearing from you guys. So if you try this recipe, be sure to let me know in the comments or send me a message and let me know what you think. You can find more of my recipe videos at Erica's Joyful Oven on Facebook and YouTube. I hope you guys follow and subscribe and share with your friends as well. To all you joyful bakers, happy baking and I'll see you guys next time with another amazing recipe.